Hey, before we begin, I forgot to mention that Good Old Games was kind enough to send me a copy of Lost Ember. So now that I've said that, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Lost Ember. It's a... Honestly, I don't even know what this game is. I, all I saw was this, like, kind of pretty wolf fox thing that can, I think, transform into other beings? Or is that the other pretty wolf fox game that we ended up passing on? There have been a number, but... What I do remember of this one is that, yes, there's this sort of ephemeral magenta glow and just... It's... I really like the way that everything is modeled and such. I, I forget if this is the one where you interact with spirits and stuff or if you're transforming, but... Okay, store page does have transformation mentioned. Cool. Because mm -hmm. there was another one of these that we actually passed on from last month that also had a very similar protagonist and overall look. But the environments looked really bad, so we were like, eh, and wanted to play this one. Originally, this was supposed to come out, I think, at the end of August, but it ended up getting delayed because they wanted to make it better, which is good. I hate it when games come out and are, like, super busted and mm. broken and not fun. Mouse cursor. It disappears. It goes away. Yeah. There we go. Most of the time. Oh, I like that little infinity mm -hmm. floating. We should do some research before we do those intros in the future. Yeah, we've just been life. Prologue companionship. Oh, so it's a chapter-based system? We'll have to see. The water will lead us, the fire will free us, and the light will guide us home. That's your way into the city of light. After you close your eyes for the very last time, you will rise into the light like a spark from a fire. All will be welcomed who follow the Yanren ways faithfully. The others, they are thrown back into this world as wild beasts. Lost embers. Hey! Come back here. Kalani! Excuse me, would you maybe help me with... Oh, hey you. I, I, I just need someone to... Is there no one here that understands me? Oh! Good morning. Uh, would, would you mind helping me with something? I promise it takes just a minute. Oh, thank you. It's in a cave just a bit downhill from here. Go ahead, I'll follow you. I've been stuck here for ages. You're the first one that's willing to help. Would you believe that? I'm supposed to be in the City of Light. Have you heard of that? It's where all the true Yanren spirits are supposed to go after... ...after their death. But I've been trapped here by this barrier for so long. I don't know why. I think there's something left for me to do here. And I'm pretty sure that Amulet has something to do with that. I found the source of the echo. Anyway, what were you saying, Shell? Oh, I, w I was wanting an opportunity to speculate about the lost ember and this spirit thing, but he pretty much explained everything. Yep, spoiled it right from the start. Okay. Uh -huh. My controllers are out of batteries. We gotta recharge them. And I can assume that with that howl, we know now that this is a wolf. There's a cave around here. Let's find it. I need to show you something. I was expecting the wolf to be cuter, but you know what? 
it's kind of dignified. I like it. Mm-hmm. Now, could Kalani be the spirit's son? Yeah, maybe. Nephew? Uh, a family member? We'll have to see. Shell's like at a seven and wanders at a five. Oh, am I too quiet? I could be too quiet. I have been messing with microphone settings all day. Or not all day, today. All day yesterday. I'm doing a bunch of reviews on microphones. And so I've had to disable all of them. Uh, the reason why there might have been a bit of an echo at the very beginning. Oh, I can, can't swim. Is because I actually had one of my mod mics sitting in front of me, hidden. Uh, and if I aimed myself in the wrong direction, I'd actually be talking into two microphones at once. Um, hence the echo. Hence the echo, and I had no idea. But now I've now I've hopefully fixed that. I think. I hope. And I'm wandering, and I shouldn't be. <laughs> it looks pretty linear. What was the uh? What was the game we played where we were the fox spirit? Recently. That was seasons after fall. Mm -mm -mm. That was the long, long. The long one with time the weird ago. spaceship. Wait, the spaceship? Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean. Um, Fe or F yeah, Fe. Fe. Yeah, that was a cute little game. I'm kind of reminded of it, but not quite the same. Looks like I'm supposed to traverse a fair amount of distance. But yeah, kind of these. Oh. That's it. Oh, a skeleton. Did did someone? Homeboy got messed up. Did he die? On a rock slide, it, like it pinned cavern? him here. You can see his legs crushed under, under mm -hmm. that rock. So he wasn't given a proper burial then. D do you see the amulet? Can you get it out? Oh, thank you. Let me see. I haven't read the Yanran script in ages. What does it say? Kalani? Oh. No, that, that wasn't my name. Maybe this isn't my body after all. Well, I, I do remember that name. Oh no, did the boy die then? What? It, it's you. The amulet. That's Kalani. Wolf, are you? It's time you reach the light you long for. This lost ember needs your help. Let this aid you on your way. Hmm. Oh. Is this just the origin story of how Dalmatians came to be? <laughs> Wolf, w was was that you? Were were you Kalani in in a former life? But that has to mean you were banned from the City of Light. You're the lost ember. Maybe I can help you reach the City of Light if you'd help me. A true Yanran spirit and a lost ember, side by side. Oh, so they're saying that he isn't the lost ember. Well, because I you am. have you have to be revived as a as a beast. So I just remember bits and pieces. But I'm sure together we can figure out the way. So then does that mean the wolf is the boy that ran away? I guess away? so. Amulet, a traditional Yan Rin name amulet. Children get used get oh blah, used to get their first amulets in an initiation ritual to welcome them as full members of the Yanrana society. This particular am amulet looks pretty worn out. The symbol of its owner is hardly recognizable. We Yeah, so there's a lot of those relics to find along the way. 
I we're probably not gonna find all of them. That's just how this usually goes. But yeah, this reminds me of Faye. This reminds me of Oh. We have to get you across if we're gonna get anywhere together. Let me see if I can find some way to help you. It's gonna be a wombat. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. God, oh, wombats are so cute. They're adorable. I didn't find anything but these two. Wolf, your mark. Look. I am become wombat. What's happening? Wolf. Oh, you can possess them. <laughs> How did you do that? Oh. You're a soul wanderer. What you just did. <laughs> that soul wandering. Yanran legend spoke of those who had one foot in the light and one foot here on earth. Maybe you weren't meant to be turned back from the city of light. <sighs> we'll have to find out more about you. Come on then. <laughs> okay, so they can clip through each other. Let's have a good look at them. Aww. They're so cute. Look uh, at those little eyes. I was looking at pictures of baby wombats yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, man, wombats would probably make all right pets, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Supposedly at zoos, they can be quite the hassle. Hmm. Escapists, apparently. Oh boy, this is one hell of a collectathon. Oh, you found a mushroom. One of 28. Oh, he better start calling us Wombat because I'm not changing back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more mushrooms. More mushrooms. More wombats. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find all the mushrooms unless there's some specific reason to do so. Just because if it's just like, you found a mushroom, congrats, check it off the list. Can you make a noise or... or huh? Okay, that was a jump. And a... Okay. It doesn't... Can you communicate with them? See if you can talk to that other wombat. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Oh. Oh, yes, there you are. Yeah, so they don't so like it. A lost ember wandering oh. spirit that could... Oh! Silly little things. Try and hit left, down, or right from time to time. Some animals have completely pointless little things that they can do, like eating berries, lying down, or diving for food. Munch. I will consume all. This wombat's gonna, like, wake back up at the end of this and be like, Why am I so fat? <laughs> oh well. That was my end result anyway. What? I, like, fell on my face there. What was that? Anything else you can do? What's what's the left? Okay, that's collectibles. What's the left or the... Oh. Boop. Oh. Lying on your side? This is too oh, cute. They make really cute noises. What's this one? I can't... Left doesn't seem to do anything, so it's probably context sensitive. Mm -hmm. I've eaten. Time for nap. This is really cute, though. Like, I usually am a proponent of fantasy animals, but I'm also a proponent of wombats. <laughs> There have been a number of games that have come out in the last year or two where it's it revolves around transforming into various animals. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's cute. This puts my brain on a completely different direction. So obviously, wombats are these cute little creatures. But it was making me think of Wolverine from X-Men and uh, what he would be like if he was wombat instead. <laughs> and the answer would be fat, 
Way less effective. Probably just eats a lot and then poops. And then sleeps. This is gorgeous. Moon Eyes Lost Ember. Light and dark. We're coming closer to the barrier that's keeping me here. I haven't been able to leave this place for ages. Maybe you can find a way through. Let's see. I wonder if you ever played any of the Redwall games. Nope. They're pretty bad. I will gladly play games that are like Redwall. Uh, like, we actually just picked up a board game today called... Oh, Mushroom. Yep, Mushroom. Well, Let's... also, now that we have VR, you might be able to play Moss and such. Yeah. Uh, I think Moss is actually playable without VR now mm. as well. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll probably pick up Moss during the uh, the Christmas sale and we can sit down and play that. I um, really hope this isn't going to be Animal Simulator where you're going to have to worry about predators and such. I don't think so. Uh, that's Shelter. Shelter is downright traumatic. I tried playing that game. <laughs> and I just couldn't. You're like a... Oh, shoot. I don't need... There's Shelter 1 and Shelter 2. One of them, you're like... A fox? And the other, you're a badger or something? I'm very wrong on both of those. They've got neat... Neat visual styles. More like kind of cut paper, hand-painted stuff. Uh, there is something over there that is burning. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll leave this poor wombat and let him go home. Mainly because I move faster as the wolf anyway. Um. Oh, what's that down there? Is it just a set of rocks, or...? I don't know, we can just look around for a while. I wonder if there's a map. I'm liking the music, though. <sighs> More wombats. I used to be one of you. Come back, wombat. Accept me as one of your kind. No. Just running for his life. Never gonna happen. Uh, let's see. What was it? What's the board game that we picked up today? I've like totally blanked on the name. Uh. El it's like Else or Ever something. Everwell? Else. Um. Not. We it's... both blanked on it. But it's very much like a. Deck builder, where you build, like, a functional town and trade for resources and gather victory points. Kind of like Race for the Galaxy or Terraforming Mars or something like that. But it is a very strong red red wall aesthetic. And there's also games like, uh... Oh, what's a... What's an example? I mean, Armello. Armello is downright rad. I should play that again at some point. But isn't that competitive? It so. is competitive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be, like... I would love to play a version of that where it was turn-based cooperative or something. Mm hmm And you can kind of still do that. Hello. A Hunter's Firestone. On a long journey to find food, hunters would always carry a flintstone with them in order to be able to camp and make a fire to prepare food. But yeah, I, I will always try and play games that kind of evoke feelings of Redwall. But just because I grew up with that series, reading them constantly, and they were absolutely lovely books. But I'm not going to play the games because the games aren't good. And I don't want to have it, like, ruined for me. Okay, I see one, one thing hanging out here. Broken Hammer. What happens when strong men use weak tools, I guess. Let's look around for a little bit more. It really wants me to look at that, but... Mm -hmm. I have no idea if I've missed anything. This seems to have been gouged out. Well, let's just make progress. We can come back if I missed anything. I think. What is that? I, th I think we're seeing the past. Wolf, are you doing this? Ye yes, do you see the amulets? They're clearly Yanrana. Our people. Children of the Emperor. Where do you think they were going? Mm. 
Oh no. Bandits. Wait. That that's Kalani. Wolf, that that's her. I mean I mean you again. So you were a bandit? I suppose that this has to have something to do with why you're not in the City of Light. If we can find out more about you, I'm sure I can help you out of here. What? How did that happen? Was that the memory? Wolf, do you think that means... I can leave. Come on, let's try it. What happens if you run into... You did oh. it! I'm free? Wolf, I'm free! Now I can show you the way to the City of Light. Come on. Can you look back at those warriors? When you run into them, they seem to dissolve. Yeah, they don't seem to come back either. Get out of here, weird banditos. So, Kalani runs away as a child due to a traumatic event in which they lose someone important to them becomes a bandit, and then dies in a cave. That's all that I can think of so far for her narrative. Yeah. I mean, kind of makes sense. Maybe we get to see more of her life. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just quickly overview, see if we see any sparklies. Well, so far, all that we know- anymore. Oh wait, what's that? Where? To the left. That tree? There's a space between them, so maybe there's that. They're mentioning something about an emperor, too. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, children of the emperor. Mm-hmm. I think we looked at this, and it was kind of nothing. Oh, there's a... There's a weird flower. Oh, uh, oh, that's oh, oh, hold that, on. That's, well, that's where we came out of. Is it? That's the wombat hole. Yeah, that's the wombat hole. Ooh, but there is a mushroom. We already got this mushroom, though. Oh, we already did? Yeah. What about what was up the hill, uh, then? I'm not entirely sure. It's weird. Now that I know that you can completionism, I'm like, uh... I should keep an eye out. And I want to be thorough, but I also don't want to spend too much time. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing anything, so let's go. But I'm absolutely loving these visuals. They're still oh, kind of realistic heck? for me, but I love the clouds. Mm -hmm. And just the shapes of everything. It's, it's very hilly in a good way. The lighting is excellent, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, it's there's something to be said about these kind of... I'm going to say pseudo-walking simulator games that have been cropping up lately. Air Memories of Old is another one, actually very similar to this, almost. Where gorgeous visuals, but for the most part you're just kind of traversing through looking at things. And finding a couple of hidden collectibles here and there. And, you know, I'm fine with that. I wasn't a particularly big fan of some of the original walking simulators, like, uh, Dear Esther. But this... This has got spirit to it. Oh, mushroom. Mushroom. Rooms. And a, a secret path? Maybe. I think this is just back to where uh, mm -hmm. we came through. Just had been obscured on the way in. Alright. Let us continue. Where go? What do... Where Fox? Focus? Oh, more than wombats. I can now creep on wombats. Hunter vision. <laughs> I've stolen your body, wombat. What will you do? Whole day to roll. Oh. What? This does not strike me as a particularly wombat power. Well, roll again. I want to see. Can you go back to the blue stuff? 
It's Sonic the Adequate Hog. Give me a second. He'll... Oh, so do you want to go in the hole or over there to the right? I don't think I can really go through this. Well, no, 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 further that way. This way? Uh, we went up here. There was pretty much nothing. You did? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Can I bowl into other wombats? Hello, wombat friends! No. <laughs> oh, what's that that's red? I don't know. It doesn't seem like something I have access to. Uh... Maybe? Wait. Oh, oh. No, no, that's your Oh, he's your just spirit creeping. Friend. He just found his little ghost corner, and he just was going to hang out there regardless. Whee. Now, if I was really passionate about editing, I would edit in the Sonic, like, spin dash sound every <laughs> single time no, I rolled. Was there a larger part of the den that you missed? Uh, I can double check. It's back down by the yard. Also, rock! Yeah, there you go. Another path. Looks like it's just another entrance. We just took one versus the other. Well, where does that lead? Both lead here. See? Oh, well, did that go back up to the same... Yeah, yeah, that clearing? goes back up to that entrance. There did look to be another entrance over here. I just didn't... Oh. Or is this all the same? No, this is all the same. I'm just going in one big, gigantic, boring circle. Right? Well, figure out if this is the right place you need to be. Well, there's... There's berries. Things to munch on. Right? I'm confused, because this feels... This is new. This is new, yes. Okay. So, that tunnel has three entrances. I guess I'm just confused. Let's go back a bit, because this this looks like there's something back here. Maybe? Flowers. Oh. Those flowers are kind of pretty until you Up. start, like, pushing into them and they get real flat. Up and around? Hey, what's that over there? Uh, I think I see mushrooms. Oh, oh, oh. Or An object? Oddball. <laughs> it's a Pokeball. Oh, it's a it is a Pokeball. An odd looking ball. Have you seen anything like this before? Child friendly, demonetized. Uh. Sorry. Wander. <laughs> I like how long you can sustain the roll. Yeah, as long as it's downhill, this wombat can and will roll. Oh, can you go into the log? I believe so, yeah. Anything of interest in the log? Or just a fun detail? Just a fun detail. Then Wombat... Wombat fits. I'm just gonna roll for a while. You didn't see any mushrooms pass you by, did you? Don't think so. Uh, let's see. No, that wasn't it. I think that's just Wombat vision up there. Yeah. Next time we see a uh, a collectible, we should see if the focus will oh. reveal it as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing anything so far, though. What's off to the left before you follow the red light? Uh, dead end. Isn't that... <sighs> What's up? There's a song that's like, Roxanne, something, something, red light. Huh? Oh, I don't remember it. it. You just said, like, it's like, don't something something the red light. Oh, you thought you were thinking of Roxanne. Yeah, well, that's what I, that's quite literally what I said. So when you said, like, don't follow the red light or whatever, I was just like, I was it's super tempted to be like, Roxanne! <laughs> it's like, wait a second, that's a non sequitur. That's the bandits again. Where are they going? Taking their ill-gotten goods. Get out of here with your goods. And your thievery. And your petty business. Oh, what's that over there on the left? Is it just a light spot or something else? Uh... To the right? Oh, is it just a... That uh, is called sunlight. Sunlight. We have found it. Bask. We have basks. Now we continue! Yeah, you don't have to put on the red light. 
it's a song about a prostitute. Yep. That's, well, I mean, I don't know. Because, you know, red light districts. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't exactly know how salacious wombats are. So, I can't really commentate on whether or not that's an appropriate song for this wombat. Who knows? Maybe just wombats get it on a lot. I thought that was koalas. Oh, yeah. Well, koalas are just like... Just busted as a species. I shouldn't say that was... Let's see, what would the proper I mean, form be? It it feels like koalas are intentionally driving their species to extinction just by nature. So, I don't know. Oh, holy cow, wombats are huge. Yep, they're like little, well, giant, extra doughy guinea pigs. With koala noses. <laughs> Hopefully Wait. they don't have syphilis, though. Or it, no, it's chlamydia. It's chlamydia. Chlamydia is, is Sorry. what the, the koalas have. Sorry. Syphilis always pops into my head because of Jack the Ripper. What are they doing? They just dump it in the river. Oh. Well, maybe they're not dumping it in the river so what much the? as sending <laughs> But Oh, doggy paddle. Go wombat, go. This wombat is going to have weird memories and an even harder time coming back home. Wait, if I'm swimming, maybe I can nope. You're not going to swim up the waterfall. No. That's ludicrous. Yeah, I don't think I have that ability. <laughs> oh, hey! Duck! <laughs> Tap to flap. That poor wombat is just shell-shocked. Where am I? Whoa. What happened? I am duck. What are my duck buttons? Nope, that's not it. Well, press A to flap. Well. Yeah. So like, I can actually... <gasps> you know what I just realized? What? This is this is a modern-day space station Silicon Valley with a weirdly depressing story. Oh. Doing the little quacks. Looks like you can't make it up there, though. Okay. I can dive. I've still got... Now, can you do the tail waggle? Uh, no. Oh, that's my favorite part of ducks. When you see them waggle their tails. Okay, give me a second. Is that wombat still here? I need to become them again. Because these waterfowl are going to be here. But no, we're, we're taking this wombat for a ride. Oh, what? You, really? You killed the wombat. I didn't kill the wombat. I think what it's saying is that you need to glide down with the duck. This wombat has emergency teleportation powers. I guess, yeah. Alright, good luck, wombat, with your new home. Oh, yeah, let's go make sure that there isn't a mushroom or something up and around here. I'm not seeing it. Unfortunately, this bird has a maximum height of about three feet. Mm-hmm. Which... Says something kind of dismal about the uh, survival of this species. Predators just have to wait for them to get tired and land, or if the predator is tall enough, just pluck them out of the air. This 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 bird is not going to avoid. Oh oh oh! oh. Maybe you want to go back. Confused duck. Can't fly uphill. Can hop awkwardly. Okay, so there are two Prettier paths. Duck. Oh. Interesting. Ah, oh, that's a pretty valley. That is a pretty valley. And I can see a mushroom all the way from here. All the way across? Look Look at the island. At the center. Yeah, look at that mushroom. Oh, that's a big old mush. This... I'm gonna be honest, flying in this game feels very unsatisfying. I wanna go just like... A <laughs> well, little you're higher. you're also a duck. You're not a, a falcon Excuse or an eagle me. or... Excuse me! Ducks can fly. Ducks migrate. Whoa, oh! 
Are those capybaras or something? Wait. Oh, are you a baby duck now? Oh. I'm apparently. Oh wait, but why is that one sibling underwater? Uh, why? Why are? Why are some of them underwater? Submersible ducklings <laughs> are a thing. Some are just more submersible than others. <laughs> <laughs> the mother duck is probably just watching this being like, Oh god, I raised them wrong. <laughs> like, only the front one is it even remotely functional. What, what if you teleport to any of the other ones in the line? Will they switch places? I can't. Only the lead duckling is possessable. <laughs> I, I think we have the base instinct to to only possess the, uh, you know, the the. Well, can fittest? you go back to an adult bu duck and see if... What? No. <laughs> we ducklings now. Well, can you look at the capybaras while they're treading water over there? You mean the wombats? No, these are, these are probably capybaras. <gasps> They See, are. They're big capybaras. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, survival rejects. <laughs> we are now water. We are now water pigs. <laughs> so, oh, I can turn into the back seat. Back one. Aha! <laughs> I've gone rogue. <laughs> I've gone rogue. Now I will stand on the capybara. I. Mm, collision issues. Yeah, I think it's one of those where you just kind of bounce. Yep. Yeah. You're bouncing. Well. And it goes to rejoin the train. Anyway, I'm going to go back back to being a capybara. So, question is, do I have any specific animations for this? The answer is no. But let's go find that mush. It's up there. Hmm. Hopefully there's something... There's oh, I might ledge. have, to, have, to, I might have duck. to duck for this one. Yep. Uh, but that is inconvenient. Capybaras, the creatures that emanate peace. I don't think I've ever seen a capybara that is in a state of anything other than absolute placidity. <laughs> you can get them as pets. The problem is you kind of don't want to. Because apparently they require a fair bit of care to take care of. Mainly, you need to have a pool. Yes, you need to have a pool that they can tread water in. My god. I can see the duckling did not hatch far from the, the duck. As this duck can barely climb a hill. I don't which know is a mushroom. problem. I like I really feel like you should be oh, able to fly. Using the river to transport the barrels this, this is just well, embarrassing. 